This video is brought to you by the generous donations from viewers like you. Hi everyone, this is Cricket Song with Lunar Wisdom and today's video is going to be discussing Baphomet. The reason why I'm bringing up this topic is I had a viewer subscriber watching some of my videos on my channel and noticed that I had a statue of Baphomet on my altar. And this really piqued the viewers um, questions about why I would align myself or work with or even associate with such an entity or an image that really tends to get uh, negative, uh, seems to be a negative image or a dark image or even perhaps an evil association, you know, the, the darker side in this viewer subscriber was interested in why I chose to have such a statue on my altar. So as I discuss Baphomet, I am actually going to turn the camera to the statue that was uh, being, you know, uh, referred to in the comment or in the email that I received and talk about the image or the symbolism that is included in Baphomet and why I resonate and why I align myself with such an image. And just as a note, the statue that uh, I have on my altar was actually a gift from one of my online students and I was very happy to receive this gift. So let's take a look at Baphomet. So this is the statue of Baphomet that uh, is usually seen on my altar. Sorry about the glare if there is one. Um, Actually, I think my shadow is sort of uh, canceling out that light, uh, although we may need the light to sort of get a better view of Baphomet. Um, but this is the statue uh, that was given to me and is usually sitting on my altar uh, right back there in the, in the center um, because I do feel like this image um, of Baphomet is a very powerful image. Um, so, okay. Um, so, first of all, it's, a, it's important to note that um, mentions of Baphomet can be found in documents dating back from as early as the 11th century. And Baphomet resembles a lot of gods all over the globe, including uh, gods of Egypt, India, Northern Europe. And Baphomet has been associated with anything relating to occultism, ritual magic, witchcraft, Satanism, esoterica, uh, for many, 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 many years. So I'm not going to get into uh, the theories concerning the origins of the name Baphomet that I encourage you to look up on your own, but let's actually look at the symbolism that's included in this image. So I'm going to pull my statue closer and maybe sort of can you see that okay so first of all what we see here is that Baphomet is an andro androgynous character okay uh, so we see that the female is represented in the breasts and the male is represented in this sort of phallus image or the caduceus I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, where we have the rod with the two snakes uh, winding up through the phallus image. Uh, and it represents, this rod with the snakes represents the phallus and also talks about or represents the kundalini energy rising. We also see that uh, we have representations of the alchemic alchemical alchemical process where um, Salve and Kungula I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly but on the arms here we have I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here a little bit on the arms prob you probably cannot see it but on this arm it says I believe uh, you pronounce it Kungula C O a G U L A and then on the other arm can you see it says Salve so that represents 
also as above, so below. And we see this in the tarot uh, through the magician. And that is the basis of the alchemic, alchemical process where the two opposing forces, the opposites are necessary to perform that sort of process, enlightenment, you know, as above, so below. It's also, um, being a Wiccan myself, it really, it's as above, so below, as within, so without. That is the whole idea behind that. Um, it represents the... Um, microcosm as well as the macrocosm, understanding that both are equal. Both are manifested within the image of Baphomet. So we also see that there is the idea of the elements represented within Baphomet. We have the wings for air, Baphomet also has scales, like a fish, for water. Baphomet has hooves for earth. And the illuminating fire above Baphomet's head is fire. So we have all of the elements and then manifested within Baphomet itself. We also see... Um, on the bottom here, I don't know if, let's see if I can turn, there we go, we have the moon phases, as well as the sun, so that shows us light and dark, and Baphomet is sitting on the world. The fact that Baphomet has hooves and the goat head represents the uh, sort of instinctual nature of man, of physicality, and having the divine light shows illumination. So man has a very instinctual nature, but can be illuminated by divine light. Um, again, that shows the, the physical as well as the spiritual side of man. Again, as above, so below sort of thing. Uh, the, there's a pentagram. This one is right side up. Again, shows the four elements balanced with spirit. And then, really, the, the other idea within occultism is that Baphomet is supposed to be sort of a scary image or um, um, a very grotesque image. And the idea here is to ward off and repel those who are afraid. If you can come before an image of Baphomet and really take control of your fear, then you are unafraid and you are able to go into the deeper knowledge. But really, the whole idea of Baphomet is a completeness, is a totality, is a representation of everything that is manifested on the earth plane. And this is why I embrace this image of the Baphomet. So hopefully this gives you an understanding of why Baphomet has a place on my altar. If you have any questions in regards to why I work with Baphomet or um, any comments, I am open to that and feel free to send me a message if you'd like, if you want it to be a little more private. Okay, as always, I love you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with others on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. And be sure you've connected with me on Facebook, either through my Cricket Song fan page 
Lunar Wisdom business page or by joining the Sacred Circle.